Known as dust runners, or devils, to local outlanders, thought to have descended from groups of settlers who lost their technology or a long-lost civilization, the Impids are a fierce combatant. Much like Tusken Raiders, these sand dwellers use their natural speed and skilled shooters to beat raiders or become them. But first, what manhunting pack did you last lose a colony to? I fear my squirrel defeat was a little embarrassing. Dancing delicately, demons dazzling while displaying their devilish determination, these creatures dart daringly through the desert decorated with horns driven by their deep love for desolate landscapes. They dedicatedly spew fire among the desolate desert. Depressed due to their unskilled ways, demons demonstrate their dominance over the desert every day. <gasps> Alright, let's talk about the Impid's pros. Fast runners. They move at the speed of someone with the jogger trait. For free! They are super heat tolerant and fire resistant to an extent, but still be careful. And the main reason to play Impids is the fire spew. Much like the animal war cry, check out the Itarkan video, the Impids have a special ability to spew fire. It doesn't cost anything to cast, just a cooldown. The Impids have two special organs in their necks in which they create a type of flammable bile and a flammable reactant for ignition. When the bile comes in contact with anything ground, trees or raiders, the reactant then ignites it. It shoots in a cone-like shape with a five-day cooldown, so use it wisely. And I guess if it, you know, means a lot to you, they also have horns, which is pretty cool. Okay, and now the many negative genes. They are just unhappy xenotypes, with a permanent minus 5 debuff to their mood. They are weak to cold temperatures. They are weak melee fighters too. They have a weak immunity, which decreases speed at which they recover from a sickness. They are slow wound healers, doubling healing times. They are poor farmers, both plants and animals. As a basic analysis, they are good at fighting at ranged, with their fast movement and preference to shooting over melee. Their fire spew can cause people to run from cover, especially useful indoors, but be careful if you're being raided by impids. If you are being raided, hopefully you can use mechs as they are immune to fire. They may be poor at farming, but are generally good at other tasks, depending on the colonist. Weakness to cold is pretty easy to counter. If you find yourself in colder biomes, just slap on a parker and some heaters in the base and you should be fine in most weather. Try not to get injured via wild animal, raid or otherwise. Slow wound healing and weak immunity makes them harder to get back onto their feet. Keep them as ranged fighters and use their speed to run around enemies if they're wielding melee weapons. They have a balance of genes, meaning they have a normal hunger rate, but they are considered stronger combatants. So, if a raid consisted of a hundred baseliners, an equal rate of strength of all impids would be 83. Usually, impids are found in, well, any savage impid tribe. That seems obvious. But they can rarely be found in pirate gangs, cannibal pirate gangs, or waster pirate gangs. Although, impids don't usually like to hang out with other xenotypes. Well, thank you very much for watching and hopefully you can tame the flame of the stupendid impid. Don't forget to check out the other videos on other xenohumans and leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Thanks, have a good one.